seen, one of the things you have to do is to know your circumstances, all right? Hey, it's Lee and welcome back to my channel. So for today's stage shorts, we are going to discuss the different circumstances when it comes to scene study. All right, so shall we begin? The first and basic uh, circumstances that you have to know is given circumstances. So what are the different given circumstances that you will be needing? All right, so there's where and when. You have to know also who, uh, what, and what your characters want to need. So every play has different circumstances, and usually the playwright already uh, places those given circumstances in the script. So as an actor, you really have to read the script, the whole script, not just a scene because sometimes some information of the given circumstances can be found from uh, the other characters or the other scenes. It will give you a clue on who you are. So let's go first one by one to the first part. So where and when. So when you say where and when is basically the time and place where the scene is, is happening. All right. So could be oh you have to know the time period is it modern or is it antiquarian i mean ancient times or something is it renaissance era or something like that um where when also is the time of day all right the time of day uh that you're having that um um that scene or maybe it's a certain date right especially if it's historical drama right you also have to know is, is it a specific date um in history or something so you really have to know that so knowing that uh, especially if it's historical or at least if you have to know the time period you have to also do research for that so uh, also uh, next is who so for who is who is your character so for this one you have to know who you are based on sometimes the description it's placed on the script how old you are your physical appearance, your emotional state, your psychological state as well. And then also, we have to use your relationships with the other characters, right? So, who are, you, um, who, who are you to the character that you're talking to that's on stage? Or also, a relationship outside, off stage. Because there are, uh, it's not all the time that you're... Um, in the scene, right? In all the scenes in a play. So sometimes you have to also know the script that you have if um, you are um, who you are to other characters, what they're, um, what are the information uh, they're telling, um, they're talking about when they're on stage, all right? So basically, you have to know this stuff. And then um, also, what when it comes to what you have to know the action that you're supposed to do from the start to the middle and to the end of the scene and then also how it will affect the next scene okay so something like that so it's all connected basically so what is basically the action or your stage business that you have to do um on stage and then the wants and needs usually for wants and needs you will have that usually it's in uh, the asides or the inner monologues that you do also uh, you have to know the motivation um, why you're doing some stuff and um, the hidden needs of your character uh, you know the objective why they're doing or saying some stuff like that and you have to know what you need to get from the other characters on screen or on stage all right so uh, those are basically the given circumstances. When it comes to real circumstances, real being uh, reality, so what's there. So ba basically for real, it's using your five senses, your sense of smell, your sense of sight, your sense of hearing, your sense of taste, um, your sense of touch. So everything, it's very sensory. Um, example, this one, this is a... Uh, this is an apple. This is a real prop. So this is a real circumstance or uh, I have this this is Behind me. These are real stuff um, that I can see here and use right? So basically real circumstances are the things 
on stage, whether it's props or sets and the people. So that's real, real circumstances. All right, so basically that's it. When it comes to imaginary circumstances, you have to use basically your imagination per se. Uh, usually a director will help you to um, have an idea what is happening all right so that you can have um a wider perspective of um the things you have to pretend that is happening example in our work of this snow white and the seven dwarves right this is an apple real circumstance however when you pretend that there's poison and when you bite it and then you die well at least the character dies then that means okay so that means that's just imaginary circumstances. You pretend that there is poison and you pretend that you die because there's Snow White, something like that. So that is the imaginary circumstances. So that's it for stage shorts. So that is the circumstances. This is part of the Stanislavski system, which will enable you to give a better and realistic performance. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.